YouTube, this is JS Man, I'm smart, and I'm going to turn on a brand new video for tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Audacity, and we're going to show you how to bass boost a song. Now, this is going to be very easy to do in Audacity, especially if you have your own equalization uh, preset set up, and I'll show you how to do that as well. Uh, but it pretty much works on any song. If you feel like a song doesn't have enough bass, it's very easy to do in Audacity right here. So I am dragging right now in uh, the most popular song uh, to date right now, which is uh, Starboy from The Weeknd. And this song has bass in it, but it's it's not very prevalent. It's not as loud as some people may like it. In fact, let's listen to a small uh, portion of it just so you can compare. So let's go ahead and listen to a small portion of it. Let's pick, uh, hopefully no copyright here. This is for tutorial purposes. So if YouTube, you are listening, don't copyright me. So, as you can see, there is bass in the background, you can hear it, but uh, it's not as prevalent as in some other songs. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and duplicate this track another two times. So, we're going to go ahead and go up to Tracks, click Add New, Stereo Track, and just paste it. Make sure you double-click your first track in the little area here, highlight everything, Control c to copy in the new track after you've made it. Control v to paste. Same thing, go to Tracks again, Add New, Stereo Track, and just Control v again to paste. You should have three copies now. Now all these three copies are going to go ahead and convert to Mono. So go up to Track, Mix, and Mix Stereo down to Mono. Now if you don't have Dark Audacity like I do, we have the default Audacity. It will probably say something like uh, Stereo to Mono. It is up here in Tracks though. Look in Tracks though, you'll see something along the lines of um, a Stereo to Mono. And that's what you want to do. We're going to do the same thing with this one. Go to Mix, uh, Stereo to Mono. And this one also, Tracks, Mix, Stereo to Mono. So you should now have three uh, mono tracks of the same song. Now we're going to work our way from bottom up. So the last mono track that you have here, you're going to go to effects and you're going to look for high pass filter, which is right here. You're going to change the uh, roll off to 48. So you get drop down menu here, click 48 and your frequency is going to be set to 100. And you'll see that that changes the waveform. And then you want to go up to effects once again, go to amplify and set this to negative five. And that should be enough. You can have it a little louder if you'd want. You can put something like negative two as well, but negative five tends to be what I uh, tend to do most of the time. And that's pretty much everything you're gonna do for the bottom track. Then we're gonna move our way up to the second track. In the second track, we're gonna to go to effects again, look for that same high pass filter. Instead of 100 now though, you're gonna go ahead and put 80. Your uh, roll off should still be 48, go and press okay. And then we're going to go to effects again. This time look for the low pass filter. And the low pass filter is going to be 48 uh, dB as well. But the frequency is going to be 100. And that'll be everything you're doing for the second copy. Then up to the first copy, you're going to go to effects again. Uh, where's effects? Here's effect. No, where's effects? Effect, effects again. Then go to low pass filter. And the low pass filter 48 again. And make sure you have the first value set to 80. Go and press OK. Then you're going to do a basic amplify. Go to effects. Go to amplify. Keep everything the same. Don't change anything. Audacity is basically going to analyze the track and see the highest that can go without getting any uh, clipping. So go and press OK. That should bring you to highest peak without having any clipping, which is good. Then effect one more time. Find equalization, which is right here. And you want to create a bass boost preset. Now, if you don't have this preset like I have here, you can just go ahead and copy it. It's very easy to man manipulate this line. At the same time, though, you can use any of these other equalization uh, presets. None of them are bad. Um, they just give a, a different effect. So you can try some of these other ones. You can play around with a few of these and you know preview it, how, how it sounds. Uh, there's always a preview button here, as you can see. But if you want to create the one that I have right here, what you'll have to do is go down to unnamed and you'll probably have one straight line. All you have to do is just drag down like that to match it. If you want to make points on the graph, you just click one and you can drag it down. You want another point here, make a point here, click up. So that's kind of uh, how you do it. And like I said, just try to copy what I have here on the screen. 
take a look at where I'm putting these points in between here. You can take a screenshot of the screen and just copy it over to your Audacity. Or you can just go ahead and pick one of these presets here that's close to it, or you can just preview them all and see which one you like. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this equalization to the first one as well. And you'll see that changes the track too. Then for the next part, we're going to go to effects again and find the bass and treble here. Now here you can have some variability. I'm going to go ahead and put it at two. The treble, you can go ahead and play around with this. This is a really neat little tool in Audacity because it allows you to do something that you can do in uh, Audition as well, which is preview the song while you let it play. You can start playback and then you can also adjust these sliders. So what I would do is I would go ahead and make sure your volume is low because you're going to be playing all three tracks here. It may sound loud. So make sure you lower your volume a bit before you do this. And when you click start playback, you can go ahead and just adjust the treble here. The higher your treble, So we'll apply that. The volume shouldn't be an issue. You shouldn't need to play with the volume, but if you want, you can. Like I said, just start playback and you can move these sliders around and hear the difference as you go through it. You click apply and when that's done, you can go ahead and press close. Now make sure when you're doing this, make sure to only apply it to the first track here. I accidentally applied it to everything. So let me go ahead and fix that again. Now we have the track uh, complete. And let me just drag another copy of the file so you can hear the difference. So at the bottom here, we have our original track, these three, will be our main track. Now, if you want to compare your results here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and solo this one right here so you can hear the difference just in the beginning here. Let's go ahead and jump into the song a little bit so you can hear. So, and now we compare to what we have, we'll mute this track. We'll go into the song a little bit. As you can see, uh, the bass is more prevalent in our version than it is in the original version. In the original version, you have the voice in the forefront of the, of the sound. In our version, we have the bass in the forefront. Uh, if you don't like how it sounds, you can always go to your uh, bass and treble for the first one. You can increase this even more, and increase the treble even more, and you can apply and you'll see the difference very quickly. This is maybe this might be a bit exaggerated, but just to show you. As you can see, it's a lot more prevalent, even more now. So you have even more bass now. So if you like that, you can obviously do that. That's basically how you bass boost in Audacity. It's very simple. A lot of it deals with playing around with a few of the options. Don't be afraid to experiment. Uh, good, good music is all from experimentation. If you want to do good audacity editing, experiment around these options. I've given you the tools. I've given you the effects you need to use. Now I'm just, you know, play around the sliders. You don't need to do the exact same adjustments I have. You know, instead of maybe putting 80 in the low pass, put 100, put 70. Play around the sliders, play around some equalization, play around the bass boost and the treble, and you can make some pretty good sounding bass. Experimentation is key. So hopefully you liked the video. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. We we'll would we'll really appreciate it. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, suggestions, we're all here to learn. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Make sure you read those comments. If you have more questions, we have a lot of smart people in the channel here that may be able to answer your question as well if I don't first. But I will be answering your questions down below. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can do so as well. Click the card on the top right-hand corner of the screen. It'll bring you to the page. Plenty of other Audacity tutorials on the channel. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. Lots of other tutorials on the channel will help you out dealing with Audacity, image editing, video editing, 
audio editing, lots of cool stuff. So I encourage you to subscribe. And that's pretty much it. If you want to check out my vlogging channel, the gaming channel, the advice channel, or the tutorials channel, links are in the description as well as on the end screen. And I just thought I'd throw it out there. I will be starting a podcast with a good friend of mine, uh, I think sometime this weekend. So if you want to subscribe to the podcast, I will leave a link on the end screen. You'll see a little button on the end screen for this video that links you to the podcast channel. It's basically going to be a very casual podcast. We'll talk about music. We'll talk about games. We'll talk about the life around us. We'll talk about our personal lives. It's going to be one of those casual laid back podcasts that you may want to listen to while I don't know, you're laying down trying to go to sleep. Maybe you're driving. Maybe you're gaming and you want to have something to listen to very casual podcast but if you want to check it out the first episode will be airing uh hopefully sometime this weekend we'll try to do a weekly podcast so if you're interested go ahead and check that channel out and uh hopefully you'll enjoy that so that's pretty much it thank you for watching as always guys and this is gs mama smart and i'll be back sooner you think don't go anywhere uh -huh.